lot of distraction to what crew might be setting up on this round, and they're pressuring that utility. Nags to start it off with a nice ghost frag. Yeah, NPK's been cleaned up, and there was a bit of pressure that was pulling off, but no, it looks like they may want to go back towards A. There's so much being invested from both of these teams. They both drop members. Joe drops as well as Kevin's looking for another one. He is able to clean that up. Crew just leaving, so the wall goes down. They've bought enough time. Now they're going to go, but you've got Kazan with the raise, man! Oh my goodness! The triple right off the bat. They were waiting for the wall to go down. It does, and it almost seems like they would regret it. NTK and Vixen are going to fall as well. Kaznick gets to four. Crew gets Gravity Wall comes out. He's going to dash in onto the site. And NTK is already good for one. The wall's going up as well, and Joe gets in on the action. Vivo Key just cracked the site wide open. And this is really great from Vivo Key. The setup that Crew had with their alarm bot on A watching heads, right? Spidey senses tingling. The swing out is there. He's good for one. Again, oh, this is all like blow up. Cause as much damage as possible. Oh, Cloth wow. was on the use. I don't know if he got it to have. He should have gotten close to an accent. Oh, gets the round with Crew defending. All the Astrid utilities over at A, but that means it's bodies at B. Can Vivo Key do it again? And Crew is striking true. Crew just refused to give up an inch, although Joe got two there. Crew to rotate. They're playing a very solid 3-2, though. A good lean can already happen from Nagzat, but Wuri's is going to start this one off a lot differently. First blood there for Vivo Key. Very nice shot. 30 seconds Again, left. and it was playing contact off of the turret. Kesson's in a great spot here. And this distraction. And it was good for one. Nags, it's Bladestorm, was able to get one as well. Klaus still playing down on the side as the spike goes down. It's just one member remaining on the side of Crew as Delzix on the opposite side of the wall. You can pick up the op. And does he go for it here? Ten seconds left. Double three is going to meet up with Delzik here. I think he hears the steps. No! Op not going to be carried forward. We talked about him in Mazzino's pockets. And as you said, Riff, that was the instance where he got that res online. He... On A. And seeing the Sage, I believe they'll That's they'll hold this strong. But Vivo Keat comes up with two very nicely over towards B. This could be a big swing. Yeah, they are going to go ahead and rotate. They've gotten into B. And it's not just that they've gotten into B. Really, they've been able to work every single facet yeah. of the map that they want to. And take a look at where Muris is at this point. He's deep in, de in defender spawn. There's really nowhere for Klaus. By the fact they were down a few rounds. And they're, I wouldn't say running the... A lot of that's just been through mid, too, though. Mm -hmm. Just walking up to that zipline area. That as well, making the retake from crew so much more oh, difficult. They're going to have to push into that. The good Monster. thing is they do have Naxxed, who's gotten in a little bit further. Class is able to trade out Muris as they continue to work their way towards the site. Wall's going to go up. Joe playing down low. We've also got Vixen in a decent spot. Second lockdown's gonna come out. He's gonna push things out right into Nags that slap. But Vixen, is Vixen gonna get the timing? Slowly but surely swings around. Vixen gets the shots. Klaus able to trade it out. A 1v1. How have they gotten this far? This is beyond me. Klaus with the tap. A 1v1! The shot! The kill! The 3k! But I don't know that he's gonna have time for the defuse. No, he's gonna drop. We're top. Movement from crew just yet. They feel comfortable with what they have set up. I, I like the fact that they're pushing Vivo Key to make the move. But Vivo Keed, after that move, tends to react faster. So they have a little bit of room to work with towards A. You just saw, too, all of that Killjoy utility you were touching on. It was the Alarm Bot, it was the Nano Swarm, and then it was the Turret. First, they clear out the Alarm Bot and the Nano Swarm because it gets popped right off of contact. Then the Turret gets cleared out. Left. Vivo Keed but have slowly but methodically really picked this round apart, Rip. Yeah, every little chance that Crew had to say information can be gained here. We have an advantage in heaven have been taken away slowly. And now, Kaznit has that elbow on hold. Showstopper's out. Oh, lands of shots too. 11 seconds left on the round. The spike is just now making left. its way forward. And the thing is, Kaznit still has that spot. The nade! The nade! The nade! The nade stopped it, but the spike did go down. Excuse me, Vixen's up top in heaven. He's already gotten three. Dropping down, looking to land a fourth. This Nag that is alone in a 1v2. Nag that slowly on the swing. Drops things down to a 1v1. Oh, wait a minute. Show. Surely you check that, right? Surely you don't let him take that out. The tap. He got it to half. Next, that sw swinging around just outside of a smoke. The tap again, forcing Joe to swing out. But does he call the bluff? No, Joe's so patient. Nexit's not going to get a chance at this. This might continue to tick away. Nexit gets tired. He gets frustrated. Oh. He's going in for the kill. And Joe. Yeah, but Mazzino. Did Mazzino hear him? Did he see him? Oh, it certainly seems that way. He's going hunting. Mazzino able to land the shot. Therese is going to come out as well. Oh. And Mazzino almost. Picks him out of the sky, not able to do it. Kaznit once again using his util to cause problems. The spike is down, and he just picked it up. Muri still pushed up quite far. They have to figure he's floating around somewhere since not a lot of action was seen made. You see how much respect 
that crew is giving to the left. backside of their map, thinking it's going to be a big flank the whole time. That drop in is going to be her, and Delzic will make a call. Again, how if they here got, comes a rotation? How have they gotten to this point? Spike they just had sheriffs ripped. They had sheriffs, and they Whoa. dropped things down to a three v one. He Delzic. has been so good in instances like these. He's good for one. Kesnit's so weak as well. Thank God it's locked down. Uh -oh. Cloudburst all over the place. Where is he going to go? Kesnit on the tap. Surely he rides that to half here. You've got Klaus who's playing on this side. It's not going to go to half heat. Playing up in heaven. The oh my goodness, what a my shot! What? I mean, what does Klaus do here? He saw set. What does Klaus do? The dash away? Timing. Spike continuing Timing. to play away, Klaus! He's going to get the defuse as well. That was unbelievable! Thirsty. Wow. That few nades in the correct spot. Mm. And this, after that gravity well you mentioned, they were finally able to get in, and it was just a family photo of crew looking around, taking pictures of Evo Keed. That a few things. Oh, they're heading up towards A Heaven. Do they no lock way. down towards A? Satchel Blast to get away! HP. And now Kazan has got his own! Showstopper that oh. goes in. Muris has been cleaned up through all of that. We have two lockdowns going out as well, so absolute chaos on the side as you've got them dueling. Joe somehow dies to a nade of all things as Kesner has been pretty dang good with that bit of utility. It looks like both teams with 15 seconds left are going to have to wait this out, and then they're going to go. They don't have a lot of time to make this happen anymore. Two members remaining on the side of Evo Kido, Orbital, or excuse me, the Cosmic Divide comes out, and he just doesn't have time. He doesn't have no nope. spike either. Crew, what, a, what a play from Crew. A fantastic read. Remember what happened the first time Joe had Lasha now the Crew wants to play with. It might change, though, now that they're on attack. I mean, they were already walking down mid on defense. I mean, look at that, right? Litter. The Caterpillar. Ash, Astra Stars. KJ Util. Mid, you've got Heat, who's going to be playing back. Make sure there's nobody working their way. Oh, my. Did what? Did he get that? He's still alive. Hello. Good kills. Three people coming his way. He gets cleaned up. They should have easy access onto A from this point forward. The three remaining members of Evo Keed are nowhere near the site. They're just now starting to show up. You've got two in heaven. A great nade. But the spike is planted. Anyway, Nagset's been dropped. 3v3. Yep. Klaus and Delzig are both relatively weak, too. So this is certainly a winnable situation. You've got a ghost in the hands of Mirrors to work with. Oh, Does he boy. keep pushing? He's watching the back. Heaven and A ramp is going to be the take. This gives Muriz a chance to come around. Vixen! Vixen! Oh. Oh. Vixen! Able to win that duel onto Kesnit. 3v2 in favor of Evo Keed. Again, this pistol is so important. No, surely not! You don't check the discipline corner! Are you kidding me? Klaus is just sitting there. Able to get two of the Vixen. Looking to trade it back. Three. Looking oh. for the fourth one. Delzik's just running away. But oh, Delzik my the word. Shot. The spike goes off. Crew win the pistol. The discipline is way through, and that is a pro. I mean, you swing around that, you've got your hands full Kesnit and Axe there in the smoke to continue to cause problems. NTK trying to go in aggressive, gets tagged up through the smokes, has to self-heal, and NTK leads the shot, then TK gets a second one. Super smart play, holding each of the angles they need to. Klaus drops one, but it doesn't look like it's going to be too much for him as he is just getting the 1v1s, trying to get the peaks out. That was a freight train onto A. From right at bottom ramps yep. towards A. He make just sure about lost it. Yeah, he, yeah, it should be clearing it. But to make sure that there's nobody pushing is pushing their way, right? There's no flank that's right. going to be coming around. So working, if they're leaning towards B with that setup, you presume they don't want to go the way. The alarm bot was just recalled, so they want to go towards B here. They have a heavy stack. The lockdown's going to come out as well. Cosmic Divide going to follow. And the thing is, you can play that back sight high low to stay out of the range of the lockdown and still cause problems. I guess it's gonna go forward. Yep, Vixen was there. We called it. He did get enough to get one. But there has been one player locked down. The spike should go down at the hands of Mazito. And there's no damage really to be done. Maybe Maurice tries a little bit. He's always good for a few. And he will get himself into a dangerous spot on the exits. Oh boy. Oh, spam down. There's no way you're getting away from that fire. You're, you're golden, right? You still have four up. Mm -hmm. You still got rifles. You even have her. And now crew, they're going to waltz on in, have a little party here in ropes, and see how they react to this. Just on the other side is Joe. Oh, boy. He's had his hands full, but he's holding off just fine. A stalwart defense coming out from Joe there. He gets in on it as well as he's in. Starts to come online is a name we say for Vivo all the time. I know I tweeted out, and, and Muri's there with the crossfire. It could happen soon. He just gets his own 1v1 on next. Crispy, baby. Crispy. And then backs up. 
Gives off the illusion that he's fully retreated. Well, the rat goes right back to the corner, waiting to see if Kaznit is going to drop. It's going to be a blast back into the site coming in from Kaznit. But can can Heat do the same thing that Joe did just a couple of moments ago? He's not necessarily as oh, low, he. but it seems like, yes, indeed, he can. The spikes down. The crew have continued to have problems going in, but Kaznit, can he, have, can he find some success with the show? Stopper, no Vixen drops. Heat's able to take care of Delzik as it's a 2v2. The spike just now making its way towards the site as Klaus is in a decent spot. Alarm bot makes sure nobody comes in from defender spawn. Kesnu playing down in hell. Double. It's dropped. Klaus in a 1v2. The momentum's been all about. But can he rip it right back into his team's hands? No, it's Joe once again defensively holding up for Vivo Key. Uh, two strung together for Vivo Key. That's going to help. Maybe we see the op that KJ did for just what happens over on the side of Vivo Key's defense. But they have gotten the wall out, so crew has a little bit easier access Ooh. to a site, depending on how many members they have when they get there. Swings out. He's about to see a whole lot of something. But is he going to have the patience? He spots one. NTK. Down a. Oh, Grabbing. my wow. goodness. That's gorgeous. Access left alone. He's got the op, and surely he wants to try to save it in this situation. 13 seconds left. Nothing doing. NTK get three. We talked about the cool. mid as they've done before. Great use of the utility. Here we go. The show's oh over. Jumps up above it. Kesnit able to dodge it and get the kill. Joe looking to get it back though as he cleans up Delzik. The spike is down in ropes. They still have to wake their way through. Joe's been cleaned up, but NTK looking to stop things. He's not able to do it. He did get one on his way, but the spike makes its way into A. I am loving this Rays game. It's a series of I can do anything, you can do better from each of them back and forth. This time, Kesnick coming out on top with a beautiful blast pack dodge. 3v2. Can he and Vixen make this count? They're playing together. You see Klaus making sure there's nobody flanking in. Coming in from Sewer. The alarm bot's going to get the position away. The turret's been cleared out as well. Surely they know at this point they have a great idea of where they're coming from. Yeah, he's not able to do anything and Vixen is stuck between a rock and a hard place. Did get significantly the most of crew now into that A side. Cosmic Divide is going to slow him down, but we still, like you said, have the lockdown. Have quite a few things to use from Vi Vivo Key. You should run. And they can wait this out and then drop. There it is. Whoa, Nagzen. Oh, man. Gets brushed by that op, but both lockdowns have been yeah. used. So, gentlemen's agreement. Oh boy. Maybe tag one up. But should be able to get away with three. Access to be tagged up as well. My goodness, this could be absolutely disastrous. Vivo Keter going in aggressive. Yeah, there he is. Next second. Into the up. win. It's a bloody disaster. But can Vivo Whoa. Keter do anything better than a 3v3 here? Make that a 3v2 crew. In it. Better spot, but Vixen's able to get it. Vixen's left alone here. He's got the op, but he doesn't have time. The kill's gonna come through, and crew get to map point. Oh, map. So if they did need to use it for any kind of distraction, they could. Into the site they go. Two teams to the backside. Ooh. Vixen and Heat with two big frags. Oh, Heat, Heat's Judge able to get a second one as well. Delzik drops. They tried doing something fast. They tried doing something. And rightfully so, crew is pushing up that mid area with a smoke out, but it clears. Will Heat be able to make a play? Yes, he right there swinging off of the contact that was happening mid off of male takes care of Nagzet a 4v3 in favor of Vivo Mazzino very patient as he gets the cavalry coming up behind him you will not kill my There's the res that they may need a oh, very very brazen by heat to go right. It is Vixen in astral form right now waiting to throw it down Playing off of the contact the turret well Oh, it is they smoke off the turret I think they may have smoked Whoa. off the turret, but you're right, the Cosmic Divide comes down, Mazzino's able to take care of Joe. He playing on the other side of the Cosmic Ten Divide, gets cleaned left. up, so the wall goes up, the spike goes down. It's a 4v2 in favor of Crew, looking to put this first map away. Miriz and Vixen are going to have to find their way in, and they're going to have to make something happen here. You see them both pushing in from opposite sides. Klaus is the only one playing outside of that Cosmic Divide as it expires. Now Miriz. Slowly creeping his way forward again. You've got Vixen on the other side as well, playing off the gravity wall. Muris with the swing. They spotted him. They cleaned him up. One down. Three more to go. Make that two more to go as Vixen gets things down to a 1v2. But he's got 33 health. And the spike continues to tick away. I don't know that Vixen's going to be able to find room to find space. He's not. He's a bit more room to work with. A little yeah. bit more dis misdirection. After Vivo Keep here. Early pressure. And they keep it, though. We know Crew likes to set oh, it. Once whoa. they get an open sight, back and forth. The dashes go down to the tailwind in favor of Nags. 
Able to get two big ones. Oh, the flash would have been there, but Kevin shows up at just the right time. The cleanup mirrors as well. Mazino looking to get the spike down. Should be able to do so in relatively effortless. Have to get through the wall first, and it's only a 2v4. They have their work cut out for them on the side of Vivo. Yeah, Joe's off to long. The flash to grab some intel. The bullets from Dell's looking to win the flash, the dash, full control of A short. One of them got caught. They weren't able to all get the cloud burst. Nice open from Heat. Heat's in a great spot. Heat. Our NTK was as well. But finally drops from Muris. They're just not giving up very much at all. Muris again. Spike Delta down. trades that out. Yeah, 2v2 on the site. The spike is down. Oh, Joe is in a great spot. Delta is good for three, though. Leaves things down. In a 1v1, and Joe answers the call again to get Vivo key. As that bank account goes up and up. Love the play here. It seemed like Vivo didn't want to commit anything to it. They gravity well a little late, but crew able to keep the Stasmic Divide. As we see that pushing through and finding one. They're over on to C now. First time we're going to see this action. Zeno should be able to get the spike down. Vivo Key looking to attempt the retake. He going hunting. It's actually Mirrors who's able to get it. Good for three. Numbers advantage in favor of the defensive half. NTK! 10 HP. Oof. Considerable amount of damage as Nexus is able to take care of that. Nexus looking for a bit more. The hot hand's gonna push them back, delay things for just a moment. Heat? Surely, Heat. My gosh, okay, he got it to half, but it was a nano swarm that kept things at bay. Murray's with the ace for Vivo Keep. And he's gonna get the defuse to get the run it back online. Ace. We see it first through short A here. And a good push up from Nags. He might decide to get the stars from C. Now they know C is not being taken. This is a good move from Vivo. How to crew respond? Nags that was there early. Kaznick drops as well, but Mazino now he's starting to show up. Joe hasn't given up an inch. Vixen's in a great spot as well, but the jumping shots. Good for one. Vixen still playing back sight. Klaus is left alone. He's got the spike, but Vixen good for three and hold on that. So this is exactly where the alarm bot was destroyed in the beginning of the round that Klaus tried to put down. Ability to move up for heat. He starts distraction. They get a good read on the old. Do they check it? No, they don't check it. Accent. Surely you don't make that mistake again. Yes, but you can see NTK with the range of how far deep the round is. He wants to play it even safer. Full util for him if he doesn't want to peek it again. He has that sonar bolt. Everything keeping them out of a sight is ha made this very necessarily. <laughs> Kazan, it's also got the Spectre, so they have oh, some room my. to work with. But with that's a problem as crew try to get on to A, they have to clear that out slowly. And looks like it's gonna be the full retake. Smoke up, that's the call from NTK that this is gonna happen. And he actually goes for the off is. plant. That's what I'm saying, right? Like you have to clear that out. He just felt his presence. They assumed he pulled, fully rotated off of sight, but he had crept his way into short. The spikes down. Now Mirage oh is going to be able to back Wait. up, but they're Wait. challenging the fight. Kesnit swings out as the dash comes across from Nagzet. Give a little extraction in this direction. Oh. It's all he needed, but Delzik's able to take care of Joe. You hear the seekers have been used as the spikes trying to work his way further and further up. So they were able to spot where that there is a flank coming in. Heat's position has been given away. Way. They know there's somebody wrapping his way around. The Cosmic Divide's going to come out as well. Vixen with a great swing out to land the shots on an exit 2v2. Still a few stars to place for Vixen. Can look to get those gravity wells to displace. Heat coming up from the outside. He does make the kill before the dash. Hasn't it? No, it's Vixen up top. Vivo Keed. So you remove the advantage that the rifles have in the hands of Vivo Keed, and that's why you see the dash in. Delzik's already good for one. Nags advancing around the smokes, but Heat. Heat's Blade Storm's good to take care of one as well. Vixen still playing backside, though. The anchor now refusing or refusing to give up an inch. Excuse me. It's Heat's good for three. Just narrowly missing the fourth. But fortunately for him, NTK's right there. Statistically, it's a hard word to say. <laughs> Statistically, they're better of the two. So if you're Vivo now with crew, they want to be able to activate these rounds quickly instead of hold it off. What a spray down of Muriz, and that's a big pick. Nagzet's in a really Ooh. cheeky spot here, so it really it, it denies any sort of entry seconds. in from Link. Spike Shock dart, but no, Kesney able to get the spike down again. Keep an eye on Nagzet. Oh, he gets a little froggy, swings out, cleans up heat. Cloud burst, causing problems up in heaven. Now they're all going to pull off. Full giving up on sight, and Riv, you could almost see that before it happened. They were yep. all pulling off, knowing that the lockdown was coming out. Cosmic Divide as well. But is that going to be enough time for them to retake the site and get the defuse? You've still got Delzik who's close, so Delzik's going to be the first one there. The rest of them are starting like a bad dash, flying their way forward, the pop flash! 
Got it. They got Vixen's it. Vixen's alone. Vixen's alone. Vixen's alone. Crew desperately needed that round. Crew, once again, quiet. Oh, but that's big. In these corners. Up. Up. Oh. oh just it misses. Oh, and he misses oh. again. He's not able to make anything connect. NTK cleans up Mazino as entry. And the entry's onto the side. NTK good for a second one. That's NTK looking for more. Line him up and knock him down. He gets three, eight seconds left in the round. No problem at all. Actually, he's given a spike on this one. So they're all going to be moving up. They may actually lose this flank potential oh right away. Kaznit in a very dangerous spot to start off this pistol. A great wall. And we'll see how crew uses it. Mazino. Trying to get up top, Exit's trying to do the same, but no, they have to give that space back up. The drone's gonna work its way up short. And they wait, and they're gonna rotate him off. Very quick. Sage wall feels good. I don't wasn't I didn't think I see how slow there, but there is still the heal. Ooh, a little hidey hide coming in from Maurice here. Taking down one more now the 5v3 as they go for C. Oh boy. Delzik has his hands full and he knows it. Boop. Clears out the dart. Repositions! Oh, all of them! Everyone swinging around the corner. Klaus able to take care of Heat. Oh Back side, 21 health. He got in, he dealt some damage, but he's gonna have to give it right back up. Nagzet's left alone. Nagzet, dick. Oh! Doesn't feel good, but you've got Marys again. Spike planted. On the flank. Nagzet's gotta check every corner. Will the timing be gratuitous? Whoop. To Nagzet. Nope, he's gonna have to dash away, and guess what? You dash no. away, and you dash away into A. You've got some mutual going that way as well. Yep. <gasps> Pressure to heaven. Mizuno's in a good spot if he doesn't get cleared out, but yeah, NTK oh. wraps around, and there's just nothing he can do. Nagzet's able to take care of NTK. And Joe falls as well. Yeah, ready for the lurk is crew. And they dissect that multi-pronged attack from Vivo coming in from the attack side now. Muriz gets himself back in, tries to get a trade, knows one is on the right. And he'll allow that now Delzik. to be played over to Vixen. Delzik, Delzik, Delzik's on the flank! Oh, but a great kill out for Muriz. Is he going to have enough time for this for the plant? Oh my goodness, by the skin of his teeth! But that's all it was. Kesnit stops the shenanigans, stops the monkey business, and, and gets the round for crew. And what do we say about this round for crew? It meant that moment they decide to go aggressive mid. Joe! Joe with the big kill on the Klaus, the alarm box. Advantage of this. Joke's it's going to be a blade storm coming out if they need it. Lockdown's there as well as the Phoenix Hall, and then it's dropped immediately. Instantly, seconds. with 30 seconds left, it looks like they are going to go ahead and push the matter forward. Heat dancing inside the smokes. The spike has arrived. Bags. Heat. Delzik, two big kills there. Players You've got stand. the lockdowns wall coming out from Zhao, but but that's it, and it's not. So gets the spike. Axe and Vixen just swing right by each other, but the timing is good for Vixen as he's able to get one class trades out. Joe, he is going to get locked up. It's a three v three on the side. You've got members to take all over the place. The wall's going to go up. He's just sitting there. He's a sitting duck. Vixen alone in a one v two. Mizino on the tap. They know where he is. Mazino's just gonna stick it. Yeah, there's no reason to swing out. Yeah, it's okay if Kaznit dies. Again, Vixen not able to get around the wall. The defuse comes through. But also the activation of the turret, or, uh, Killjoy utility will be of assistance. Dude, crew are not, crew are not giving a bitch. Right? The, the one thing that they've got cooking here is Delzik, so only one on site. Oh, that gravity will. And he did get on. He's gonna dash across into his pod for Delzik! 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 Delzik gets two! 13 seconds left, they gotta get the spike down, they have control of the site, you've got NTK who's playing backside, and Vixen is there, but a 4v2 number so heavily in favor of crew, can they hold them off? No, Vixen's dropped, it's all down to NTK! NTK gets three, but not able to get four! Kesnit extinguishes the insane pop-off that would have been required. I was going to say, is this shoulder pick? He doesn't over. have that ankle You're just dead. yet, though. Klaus, first blood of the round. He has had such a hard time finding space, making anything happen in this series. Here is his ult. What an open up. It's going to go down in the hands of AT NTK. Numbers advantage in favor of Evo Keith Klaus. Swinging out first. Kesnit's going to follow there after the flash was there. Oh, but Kesnit. Kesnit good for one. Vixen's going to have to back up. NTK still playing on the site. One enemy remaining. Oh, what a shock dart. For Vivo Key 2. Trying to play off the ball here. Oh, what a look by Delzik. Here they go. Here they go. Mazzino's playing in the smoke. Oh, Mazzino, great shot. And he gets rid of the dart. He swings around. Gets the second one as well. Looking for the third. 
Delzik takes care of it. There's no way in for Vivo Key. They're going to have to pull off. Yeah, it's just down to Vixen. And he does For crew here, we talked about Ultimate Economy. You mentioned how Zhou used his. Of Nags that he's got to mute. So that's out, but he lands a shot and gets away. Now he goes to short. The tried and true. Still getting pinged up a little bit, so he's going to have to change his mind on how this works. Turret watching top as the smokes go down, and it is going to be Vivo on A. Mizino takes care of Joe as well. Oh my goodness, the, the wheels have fallen off the bus for Vivo Keat here. They're just picked apart, they're ripped to shreds. A prime gaming flaw. And you can see the playbook dwindling here for Vivo. It goes for a C. Oh. Take the spike that way, and guess what? There's going to be a nice big ice wall that's not going to allow you to work your way in. You've got the lockdown as well. They have this read, but can they get the kills? Heat up tight. Kaznik gets on to NTK. The Hunter Fury is not there. Kaznik gets the second one as well. Two members remain for Vivo Keat to keep tournament life alive. Make that one. And it's just fixing and no sir a weight strap okay next round we're gonna hit a we test them and it does not seem like they can